Hello everyone and welcome back to the messiest room in the house. Today we are going to be talking about our home goods Halloween haul, which I'm very excited about. And you know, we're a little bit wider. This I put on a different lens, we're a little wider, so you can truly you can see all the mess now. Really I'm not I'm not hiding. Okay. There's lots of lots of crap in here. But you know what? This is a home projects channel, and you're gonna see this room get cleaned up over time. So like and subscribe if you want to see that happen. <laughs> okay, without further ado, let's get into our home goods haul. This was one of our biggest hauls this year, which I'm really excited about. This was back in early August, which really kind of worked for us because I think not a lot of people were out there hunting at that time. And so we got a few items that I haven't seen since we've gone back there since. Very first thing, this is my favorite item probably of the year, at least top two. Um, it's this cute, spooky cat candle holder. So it reminds me of a kindergarten teacher, you know, like your elementary school teacher when you'd walk up to their desk and they'd be, it'd be right around Halloween time and they'd have like their little accoutrement hanging out around on their desk. It just, it just reminded me of that kind of time in my life. And it, it, I was like, Portia, I know this might not go with our style, but I got to get it. It's wearing a cape. It's wearing a cape, Portia. Next thing on our list that we got at Home Goods was this cool, waxy, flickery ghost. It feels like a candle when you hold it. Um, and when you turn it on, it's like the temperature of the light is a little bit more white than it is warm, which at first I was like, Ugh. but when you see it up on the on the shelf, it actually it kind of stands out, which which I like. And the the lighting doesn't bother me too much. It, it makes sense. I mean, ghost, you know, it's like a sheet. It makes sense. It was white. Anyway, that was a Porsche pick this year. Is that it, I mean, technically they're all Porsche picks. I do I do wish there was like a steady on switch, you know, and where you didn't have a flicker because sometimes the flicker can be kind of intense. Um, but aside from that, I mean, what are you going to do? Next up, we've been using this a ton this year already, the Skull Blanket. We love it. Shallow loves it. It's just light enough to be able to, you know, it's not like super bulky. So it's perfect for when you're just getting a little chilly while you're watching some TV at night. Light enough to put on a bed if you're wanting to warm it up a little bit. It, it might be a year-round item for us uh, because, you know, we're a couple of spooky hoes. And we like the spooky stuff all year round. We went crazy with the blankets this year. We got three blankets from Home Goods. <laughs> the next blanket on the list is this, I forget what it's called, cow something? Anyway, it's this bat blanket. The bats are, uh, they come off the pile of the of the blanket. They're, they're like, they're just really fluffy and cute. And this is a little bit of a heavy, heavier blanket. So if you're, if you get cold easy, this is like the blanket for you. Super cozy, probably softer than you'd expect. You know, like you'd think that kind of material might be a little scratchy. No, no, no. It's great. And I love it. And it looks good in our house. Okay, and then we had to get a blanket for Shiloh and Shiloh's little bed. So we got a little a little ghost blanket. And they had a few options this year. They had some ghosts. They had some like without the pumpkins, some with the pumpkins, some with some other spooky items. But we decided that ghosts and pumpkins were like kind of the quintessential Halloween. So we went for it. I think it looks really cute on his bed, and, and Shiloh likes it. Once again, if it's a chilly night, it's nice to have a little extra warmth. I kind of had to sell Porsche on these. These aren't really our style necessarily, but they're just, they're kind of versatile, and they're cute. Like, I feel like I can put them outside or inside, but the they're lanterns. One's a witch, and it's a little bit taller, and one is a pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, they're perfect. Right now we have them in the, our little hallway into our bathroom which is nice. It kind of draws your eye in there. If we have some friends over or whatever, it's nice to turn them on at night and light up that little hallway. So another great purchase. <laughs> and last but not least, we got these cool, cute little um, dangly bat lights that we have in our bathroom. They're bright enough to be kind of a night light in there, which is good if, if you don't want to turn on the big giant bright light uh, in the morning or something, if you just want to have it be kind of more low key. This is perfect. Once again, we like to turn it on when we have friends over because it kind of draws your eye down that hallway so it's not just a big black abyss. I do wish, we'll have to come up with a creative way to hide the battery pack, which is a little bit annoying, but um, I'm glad I don't have to plug it into a wall. Do I have any complaints about home goods this year? I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they don't put everything out all at once. So you come back another time and there's one of them there, but it's broken. So you feel like you missed, you know, I don't know. it. I do feel like we missed a few items, but um, overall, a great home goods haul this year. You know I couldn't end a video without talking about our spooky shirts. Portia and I have always wanted to design spooky shirts, and this year we finally did it. So go over to uh, our Etsy shop and check those out, but uh, I think you guys will like them. They're really fun. 
and they're not cutesy. They're a little bit more. They're a little bit more gritty. Um, we do have some cute stuff for some toddlers. So I mean, there's something for everybody there. Let's go check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys know that helps our channel a lot. Uh, and we'll see you on the next one.